Canva and Adobe Express are both user-friendly web-based graphic design tools that aim to let you create effective visual designs no matter how much graphic design experience you have. Unlike desktop programs like Photoshop or Illustrator, which need to be installed on a computer, these platforms are primarily intended for use in a web browser. That's why they come in handy, especially for social media post designs. You don't have to be a pro designer now to brand your company or share your thoughts through an infographic. What you have to do is watch this video and get a brief overview of which one's going to give you more. The reason people now prefer using Canva and Adobe Express is their ease of use. Both platforms are incredibly easy to use for graphic design tasks. It's fair to say that the Adobe Express interface probably has the cleaner look though. It features more white space and feels slightly less cluttered than Canva's. That doesn't mean Canva's interface is complicated. In both platforms, a left-hand side sticky menu offers quick access to projects, branding tools, and scheduling features to stay visible as you move down the page. Adobe Express enhances this with a quick actions tab which provides one-click access to common tasks like image resizing, background removal, file merging, and file format conversion. You can use Canva's Elements tab or Adobe Express's new search menu to find anything you'd like to add to your design. Don't forget to consider the speed of each interface. Adobe Express often feels slower than Canva when it comes to loading templates and saving designs. This can be a nuisance if you use the tool frequently. Other than that, there is no major difference in terms of interface and ease of use. Both look and feel good. We were talking about social media designs. You can do it easily with built-in social media templates. Since Canva and Adobe Express are designed primarily for non-professional users, they offer a wide variety of templates to help jumpstart your design process. Canva provides an impressive selection, over 2.1 million templates on its free tier and 3.8 million on its paid plans. Adobe Express, on the other hand, offers over 220,000 templates on its paid subscriptions, with approximately 155,000 available for free. Both platforms rank highly in template quality. The Adobe Express template range is particularly strong when it comes to funky design. Lots of its templates use bold color combinations and eye-catching graphics. The templates on both platforms are organized by categories, including logos, Instagram posts, brochures, and flyers. Canva also includes a dedicated business section for easy access to templates with a commercial focus. Importantly, both tools allow users to resize any template easily, which provides flexibility in design. This seems a little but very effective and timely addition from both. All in all, it's fair to say that both tools give you access to a wide range of professionally designed templates, but if we're choosing a winner based on quantity, Canva takes the cake. A major advantage of using integrated design platforms like Canva and Adobe Express is the vast array of royalty-free images available with your subscription. For comparison, stock photo providers like Getty and Shutterstock may charge around $10 for one image, which is roughly equivalent to the cost of an entire month subscription to Canva or Adobe Express, complete with their extensive image collections. With Adobe Express, you can access 500,000 images for free, while their paid plans unlock over 200 million. Canva, however, exceeds this on its free plan by providing access to more than 3.2 million stock photos, graphics, videos, and audio. Nevertheless, its paid plans have a smaller offering of 127 million assets compared to Adobe Express. Now it's important to note that a large portion of the images in Adobe Express is sourced from the Adobe Stock Library, a distinct product from Adobe. The images available in Adobe Express from Adobe Stock do not include premium or editorial content and come with a standard license. This means they cannot be used for creating printed merchandise like posters, t-shirts, or coffee mugs for resale. While Canva has its own guidelines regarding the use of stock imagery and graphics, they are much less restrictive than those of Adobe Express. Plus, with Canva, you won't need to navigate through complicated licensing terms for images. So, Canva is a more flexible and generous option for stock photos.
you can use either a stock photo or upload your own images. As Adobe Express and Canva both offer a range of editing tools to refine your visuals and incorporate them into your projects. Each platform includes various filters for color and distortion effects. Recently, Canva introduced a feature known as the Modal Photo Editor, which enables you to adjust images before they are added to your designs. This tool features a compare button for quickly assessing your edits. Furthermore, Canva's Copy Style tool allows for easy style application across images, a capability that Adobe Express does not provide. Both tools also provide the ability to remove photo backgrounds. However, you'll have to have a paid account with both platforms to access this feature, as neither provides it on their free plans. In terms of storage options, both Canva and Adobe Express provide users with a substantial 5 gigabytes of storage space on their free plans. This is considerably more than what is typically offered by other design platforms. But the scenario is totally different when it comes to storage in their premium plans. Adobe Express offers 100 gigabytes of storage in its premium package, while Canva Pro provides 1 terabyte for each user. On their team plans, the storage limits are the same for both platforms with one terabyte available to team users. Nonetheless, because Canva's Pro plan offers 10 times the storage compared to the Adobe Express Premium plan, Canva stands out as the clear winner in this respect. So we've provided all the pros and cons of both Canva and Adobe Express. That brings us to the deciding question, which one you should choose? Well, both are great, but sometimes the best can be replaced by even better ones. And this time, the better one is Canva. Adobe Express is still very good, but it falls behind on numbers. In every aspect, Canva gives you something more than what Adobe Express offers. At least the numbers say this. So, as now you are more aware of both of them, we just hope you choose the right one for you. Thanks for watching.